Welcome to the ACHR Newsroom. I'm Maria Taylor, Managing Editor of the ACHR News. The debate over whether higher prices are temporary or permanent continues. HVAC contractors know one thing for sure, they are happening. Three manufacturers are raising their prices on September 1st. Carrier announced a price increase of up to 8% on North American residential, light commercial, and commercial applied products. This includes products under the Carrier, Bryant, Payne, and International Comfort brands. Lennox will do the same for all its residential and commercial equipment, accessories, and parts. Aon will increase prices for all its equipment by 5%. Company executives said in a press release that the price increase is a result of inflationary pressures. Carrier's price increase follows one that just took effect this month. Lennox raised its prices in June. Train has also increased prices twice this year. Lennox became the latest major HVAC manufacturer to announce a change at the top. Todd Bluedorn informed the company's board of directors that he will be stepping down as chairman and chief executive after 15 years. The transition is scheduled for mid-2022, giving the Dallas-based company plenty of time to search for a new CEO. In February, Lal Carsonby became Emerson's chief executive, following the retirement of longtime CEO David Farr. Then, David Regneri took over as Train's CEO on July 1st. HVAC contractors are enjoying a strong cooling season. Emerson's Brandy Powell recently spoke with ACHR News Editorial Director Kyle Gargaro about how long demand will stay this high. Powell said Emerson expects the market to continue chugging along into at least September. The question now is when it will cool off. I think everybody's asking the question is when is this going to back off? They're asking two questions. When, it, <laughs> when is this going to slow down? And then probably the question right before that is, are we building inventory or do we have too much inventory? Um, there was some thought that what was being built, you know, October, November, December, January, February, March was just going to be placed in inventory because um, so many distributors were caught without inventory um, last year because of the COVID cycle, if you will. And we, we all wanted to make sure that didn't happen again. Um, needless to say, uh, that's not the case. We still see a lot of this selling through. Um, and it's indicated, again, by some of the spot shortages. It's further complicated by the supply side, um, which you hear across all the industries. You know, I could get all the parts, but two or three, that doesn't work when you're building a system, right? You need all the parts to be able to do that. So um, I think there's the combination of the shortages on equipment plus the extra demand for equipment. Um, but clearly, it's lasting. I think there's a lot continued high confidence that this will carry throughout the season this year. Powell said much of the strength comes from residential new construction, but she said the replacement cycle is also much more favorable than usual. Homeowners are choosing to upgrade their HVAC systems rather than wait for them to break down. Powell said that's a result of customers spending more time at home. Elon Musk isn't the only billionaire high-tech industrialist interested in the HVAC business. So is Tony Stark, or at least Robert Downey Jr., the actor who starred as Iron Man for more than a decade in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Downey has invested in a couple of HVAC startups through his Footprint Coalition ventures. The investment group focuses on ways to improve the environment. Downey's fund has invested in Sealed, a duct sealing provider, and Turn Tide Technologies, an electric motor startup. Another Hollywood star, Leonardo DiCaprio, has put some of his money behind Bluon. The company developed an eco-friendly refrigerant replacement. It also provides a support platform for HVAC technicians. For more on these and other stories, please visit achrnews.com. I'm Maria Taylor. Thank you for watching.